Can I go? You gonna tell him to move or what? I really hope this stuff works. I'm gonna kill myself. Happy birthday to you. Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Living in a Van with Daniel. I've been living out of this van for the past five months now. Mostly, we've been traveling around and hitting up different ski resorts, but it is summer now. You'll notice if you watched my last video that uh, we are back in the same spot that we left off uh, last time. That is because I'm gonna be trying to film a video every single day because I am on my way back home to South Dakota. So stay tuned for different attractions that we're gonna check out, national parks, and anything that we find along the way. Currently, I am in the state of Oregon in the south central portion. Um, and today we're going to be heading up to the city of Bend. I need more groceries, I need gas, and I need a shower. Alright, well, it is a little bit late already. It is already uh, just about 10 o'clock. So I'm going to make myself some real quick breakfast. Luckily I've got some frozen breakfast sandwiches and Hot Pockets and a microwave. So nothing special for today. And then we're going to head on our way. Seatbelt on because safety first. If I had made something like this on my own, probably would have taken me a good like 10 to 15 minutes. So it saves me time. All right, let's get going. Okay, so this one's uh, really hidden back here. All right, well, we made it to the gym. We are actually not in Bend right now. We're in a town called La Pine because there isn't an Anytime Fitness in Bend. We're gonna get a quick shower here and then keep on heading on our way. All right, we got ourselves a shower, and uh, now um, I'm gonna go look for some bug spray. I don't know if there's a Walmart around here, but I really need some, because, I mean, you can probably see that now, but I mean, just look at how raised that is. And this, I don't know if you can see that one too, but I've got mosquito bites everywhere, and I don't want any more. All right, so we've got our uh, bug spray, repellent, wipes, whatever. We've got about a six hour drive total uh, to get over to our campsite for tonight. It's currently 1.40 right now, so we should probably get on the road because I wanna make it there before uh, sundown uh, so I can check out the area. Luckily, again, it is summer, so the sun shouldn't be setting till eight, nine o'clock, somewhere around there. So we should still have plenty of daylight if we can make it there by seven o'clock. So let's get going. Yeah, I think so. Thank you very much. <laughs> you too. So we stopped to get some gas, clean our windshield a bit, get some food. Uh, we are heading into a bit of a storm. So 
One thing I didn't account for also is that uh, the area that we're going into is actually that portion of Eastern Oregon is in mountain time. So we're actually losing an hour, but uh, maps are saying we've got three hours and 20 minutes. I'm not sure exactly why, because it's only 171 miles. So I figured out why the map said it was going to take me so long to get there. Uh, uh, the reason why is because, well, it's a dirt slash gravel road. Hope that my cabinets don't fall off. Can I go? You gonna tell him to move or what? There you go, there you go. Bye bye. Leslie Gulch, named for Silver City pioneer Hiram Leslie, was killed by lightning here. Well, that's, that's a good sign. Because we do got lightning. I don't know if I've actually got any on film yet, but uh, yeah, lots of lightning. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but it looks like those are the campgrounds. So let's we'll see if we can find a spot. I mean, this is pretty remote, but uh, there are people here, so we'll, we'll see if any aren't taken. It looks like everything's pretty uh, full up, um, like everything. So uh, normally there's a two week maximum of how long you can stay here. So uh, I don't know how long these people have been here, but it is the weekend, it's Sunday, so. Uh, but okay then, I guess we will be finding our own spot. You know what, before we go outside, we bought the uh, bug repellent, so. so. I really hope this stuff works. <coughs> I'm gonna kill myself. All right, so I decided to actually park because I'm gonna go check out the river that's down there. Um, and possibly camp here, because there's somebody camped out way over there. It's technically not a camp spot, so I don't know, I might be able to pull into one. I'm actually seeing a firing right down over there that nobody's uh, parked at, so maybe I'll be able to make that work. All right, well, this is the river, or lake, I guess. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I think it's spelled O-W-H-Y-E-E, -E. owie. <laughs> I have no idea. I really wish I had my kayak. I'm definitely bringing it on my next trip. Because look at this. The water is super calm. I mean, I could just paddle around in there, go down the river. Oh, and by the way, it is actually almost 10 o'clock right now. Um, if you don't believe me, there you go. I mean, the sun's gone down a while ago, obviously, but... Uh, still pretty light outside and it is starting to drizzle so i'm gonna head back over to the van and i might ask those people if they care if i park there because honestly i'm just gonna get in the van make myself some food and call it a night so we'll see if not i can move down here and i think i should be fine all right so we're back in the van and i asked those people over there if they care i guess this these are actually two separate camp spots, or at least that's what they said, but they said they don't mind. I think I'm, I'm good to stay here. Um, I'm probably not going to do anything too crazy for dinner tonight. Um, I got some microwave pho I can make, or leftover fish tacos from last week's video, which was actually yesterday. Speaking of which, it still smells like fish in here, I swear. Ugh, I, I'm, I'm not cooking fish in here ever again. Alright, so we've decided to go with fish tacos again because 
I want to get it out of my fridge so it's not stinking up this place anymore. I'm trying to get the fish smell out of here. And also I'm taking advantage of the fact that I can cook outside. So we're going to do that because it's simple and it's already made. Let's get cooking. We're gonna cook our tortillas first this time. Well, uh, it looks like it's kind of started to drizzle. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on the plate, but or hear it. We're gonna finish this up and probably get back inside. Come on, man. Let me cook. All right, we might just have to stop at two and people offered to let me uh, use their little canopy. Uh, my bench does not have one. Excuse me. Hi. Um, do you guys have room over there for me to cook? It's like you, you're you welcome to use this stove. No, I can use my own. I'm we have so much fuel too. Okay, are you guys sure? Let, please let us share them. <laughs> All right, thank you. How long have you been on the road here? Uh, it's been like five months. Oh, no shit. Yeah. You animal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I like being around these guys, but like at the same time, I could use a shower. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we're, celebrating, we're celebrating a birthday today. Oh, okay, whose birthday is it? Hello. Happy birthday. That's awesome. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Woo! And then it will Make a wish. Okay. I had not invested in Starlink yet, but mm -hmm. next time I leave, I am for sure. Totally dig it is. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I bought it. I don't have a fishing pole, but that's that's another thing I'm going to bring along next time, too. I have a kayak that I wish I had brought. I just didn't plan to be out this late in the season. Thanks to some kind strangers for letting me use their cover so I didn't have to eat soggy fish tacos. But it is, uh, it's getting kind of late. I think it's almost 12 o'clock right now, but I had to gotta clean all this stuff up. Get my bed ready, but uh, I'll see you guys in the morning and uh, hopefully be able to show you the nice views in the sun tomorrow morning. See you guys then. Good morning. You had a good sleep last night. Didn't sleep in too much today. I woke up around 8.30. Um, which is technically 7.30 because we lost an hour. <laughs> well, you guys can see the views outside. And here's the campground. A bunch of people have left their spots early. Most of the people are still there. But I think I'm going to take you guys on a hike so you guys can kind of see the area and also so I can take some pictures. I'm going to finish eating my Hot Pocket and then we're going to go on a hike. Okay, so actually our first order of business before we start driving to any of the hikes is I need to check my tire pressure. Because while I was driving yesterday, uh, I got a low tire pressure warning on one of the tires. I'm not sure why. Also don't know if it's leaking. So we're going to check that out real quick and then go on a hike. Okay, well that isn't helpful. This thing only goes up to 50 PSI, and uh, my tires are supposed to be at 70. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we'll have to drive a little bit and check again. But, I mean, they should be fine to drive on, because, I mean, they still have plenty of air in them.
All right, so this is our hiking trail. This one is called Juniper Gulch. And uh, supposed to be, I think, one and a half miles. And uh, we'll see how fast we can do this. But just wanted to show you guys some of the beautiful scenery. There's some water runoff going on down there from the, uh, from the rain last night and yesterday. Ooh. And you'll be happy to know that I'm not wearing my Birkenstocks this time. Because <laughs> uh, I don't feel like destroying them. Pretty, pretty rocks. Well, there's some nice views for you. Look at that, man. Just nice rolling green hills and then these weird rock formations. <sighs> Moving on. Ooh, pretty flowers. Look at that. <sighs> I don't know how much farther this trail goes. I kind of doubt it goes to the top, but it would, I'm sure it'd be a pretty nice view from up there, so I'm not sure, but we're gonna keep going and find out. And the trail did indeed go further, but I think I'm at a dead end now. Probably could go down that way, maybe, but I don't think I'm gonna get up there. I've already been hiking for quite a while. It is, uh, it's like 10.50 right now, so. I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the van, but I think that'll be about it for today's hike and today's video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section down below, leave this video a like, and think about subscribing if you want to see more. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I think this will about do it for this video. Oh, shh. <laughs> okay. Careful about going downhill.